Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the Daily Collective reading for Monday, October 17th, okay? Um, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I'm using the Wisdom of the Oracle by Paulette Baron reed all right? So um, let's get into this message, okay? Definitely check out the overall message so that you can get an idea of what this week is going to be about or the... Um, yeah, the energy for this week, okay? So this is for Monday, October 17th. Spirit, what do we have? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Right. So you get Truth Be Told, number 14. Okay. And Message in a Bottle, number 15 in reverse. Okay, bottom of the deck is a change in the wind, number 12 in reverse. Okay, so the way I read these messages is for Monday, the 17th, we have truth be told, message in a bottle in reverse because of a change in the wind in reverse. All right, All right. so let's get into the messages. The first message is truth be told. Okay, I'm like breathing because I, I feel like winded, but I don't have asthma. I don't know. Maybe I give myself a treatment. My kids have asthma. Okay, here we go. So it says honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. So this truth be told card is saying this. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing. And then there's a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of the, the adherent or believer. This is not a time or for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles, okay? Being truthfully and honest about you, okay? Like, who you are. Like, yep, you flawed, okay, yep, I am, okay? Okay, and let spirit respond with miracles, okay? This is about you being yourself, speaking your truth, your truth is not about debating about whose truth is truer, okay? Why is truth be told here for the collective spirit? It's about you being authentic and real with yourself, okay? And walking in your truth. Truth be told for the collective spirit for Monday. Truth be told for the collective. Three of swords and seven of cups. Okay. Three of swords is heartache, pain, disappointment. Okay. Something has occurred in your life, past or in the current, okay, that has created some worry or confusion about whether to move forward on something. Okay. Spirit wants you to speak your truth about it, okay? Why is truth be told here for the collective? Some type of disappointment, heartbreak, has created this worry in you about whether you want to move forward on something. For the collective spirit for Monday. Why is truth be told here, spirit? Okay. Turned over. The King of Pentacles. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay. Um, this is someone that might be coming in with a gesture of love, a message, um, an invite, um, 
a gift, an email, okay, um, to someone that they have deep emotion for, okay, um, someone that they feel is loving, caring, maybe um, someone that they feel a deep connection with, okay, um, with the Nine of Wands. There's someone that is like determined to heal something, determined to recover something, build something, or um, get something back in balance here yeah, with the star energy, okay? Yeah. Why is truth be told here for the collective? Truth be told for the collective spirit. Okay. Two of Swords is someone that was avoiding a path, avoiding a decision, not speaking on it, not talking about it, not addressing it, okay? Closing themselves off. You could have not heard from this person, okay? And all of a sudden, you do, okay? Knight of Swords is a determination. It's a rush decision. It's out of nowhere. It's clarity of decision. It's a conversation. It is a... Um, it can even sometimes be a heated conversation, okay? Um, but this is about clearing a stalemate, okay? The two of swords is like a stalemate. So clearing a stalemate. Yeah, because someone is awakening to something, okay? So whoever is speaking their truth or vice versa, okay, this person might have been closed off, maybe didn't know what decision to make, kind of just, you know, um, two of swords energy, dismiss something but with this knight of source energy they're coming in to speak they're coming in to talk they may be coming in to speak the truth because their perspective has changed on something it's like they have a better understanding okay why is truth be told here for the collective okay someone was worried about moving forward on something because of some heartbreak that they have experienced heartbreak disappointment that's a lot Okay, one more. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to get any more cards on that. Okay, so let's look at message in a bottle in reverse. Okay, that's number 15. Okay, and that card is about communication, a sign, a cleat on, pointing the way to your highest good. But in reverse, it says this. Are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. Don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interest at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking, okay? So, this is someone who was worried about moving forward, okay, um, because of some heartbreak that they have experienced, had experienced. The Two of Swords energy um, is like this person being closed off, not making a decision, not knowing what decision to make, and now the Knight of Swords the energy, they're coming in with maybe some communication, okay? The message in a bottle in reverse card says this. Why is this card here for the collective? Message in a bottle in reverse spirit for this Monday. Okay. Knight of Wands, okay? The Knight of Wands is about being inconsistent, okay? Well, he's an action taker, but he's generally taking action in a lot of different directions, okay? So he's in and he's out, and he's in and he's out. Okay, with temperance being here, yeah, this is someone who is starting to be more balanced in their um, approach, okay? This is someone that's probably recognizing, because we saw the page of swords, okay? This is someone that's probably recognizing their actions or recognizing um, how they have been, okay? Judgment energy is about second chances, okay? And they're coming in maybe for a second chance um, to maybe have new love, okay? Um, or to recover something, to start something again with the Ace of Cups, okay? Um, maybe to start a new relationship, a new friendship, a new kinship, okay? Um, you might have had arguments with this person 
five of swords energy that could have been um you stopped talking to this person because of words that were said okay with the devil energy okay and um the six of cups this could be someone that you know from your past someone that you just can't let go from your past is an unhealthy attachment from your past okay yeah this is someone that is coming in um with a different approach okay maybe um seeking a second chance okay the spirit is saying do not ignore the red flags okay why is message in a bottle here in reverse okay the moon energy okay and the nine of pentacles the moon energy and a nine of pentacles okay okay so the moon energy is about illusions or um you know what's like what's behind door number one type you know so it's illusion stuff that you don't see stuff that you don't know right with the nine of pentacles this person could be having um issues with their uh finances or independence okay um with the moon energy um this this person could um had could have had a fear of being alone okay or a fear of you know something going wrong with their finances okay why is message in a bottle here in reverse for the collective okay. the nine of cups and the seven of cups Let me get one more for message in a bottle in reverse. The nine of cups is like, you know, fear of, you know, having, okay. So nine of cups is about, you know, which is being fulfilled. Now with the moon card coming out before, I feel like someone, you know, might've gone through a situation that wasn't so good. Right. And they just expected that the new situation, the new opportunity, the, the you know, the opportunity that was being presented to them wasn't going to be much different. Okay, so someone was worried about moving forward on something because of their experiences uh, or of, of heartbreak or disappointment before. Okay, and they didn't want to maybe ignore the red flags. Okay, but the chariot energy here is about, yeah, movement forward and the nine of pentacles towards, you know, being independent. The ten of cups is on the bottom. Yeah, this person is now ready to take action. I guess their perspective has changed. Okay. They're moving past the worry of are you a wish fulfillment? Okay, this person's like wanting a second chance to maybe have this again. Okay, they were functioning under under a energy of fear. Okay, but they're ready to move past that. Maybe feeling more stable within themselves. Maybe worried about their stability. Okay, yeah, because we have a change in the wind here in reverse. So this is all because of a change of in the wind in reverse. Number twelve. So a change in the wind is about a sense that unseen change has been initiated, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, and feeling a shift, uncertainty about which direction the wind blows. But in reverse, it says this. There are conditions brewing in your life you have no control over. Don't fight them. Change is inevitable and is for the best, for the highest good. Even if the storm blows away the structures you think you've built your dreams on, all will turn out as it should. You will have a renewed clarity and strength to do something even better. Spirit is your ally. Okay? So this is why this is happening. Someone was afraid to move forward on something because of their past experiences, because of something that didn't work out, their disappointments from before. Okay? They might have closed off. They might have um, said some things they shouldn't have said. They might have, you know, um, 
refused to make certain decisions, okay? They, uh, their actions were not consistent. They were a little in and out. And this is someone that is um, wanting a second chance, okay? Wanting to recover something, okay? They were living in an energy of fear, okay? Um, fear and worry, okay? Maybe about being alone, maybe about finances, maybe about doing things on their own, okay? But this someone is ready to move forward, all right? Why is a change in the wind here in reverse, okay? All right, this is someone that might be realizing that the uh, foundations that they had built weren't necessarily that solid. Yeah, after looking at it, okay, after careful uh, review and um, after deep consideration, right, with the Seven of Pentacles, I, after I looked at it, really, okay, with the Empress energy mm -hmm, and the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands, um, Someone might have been presented with an opportunity that they pushed away. And after looking at it, okay, they realized that, you know what, this might actually work. This might actually be pretty good, okay? Um, I, you know, was kind of, you know, focused more on how difficult this was going to be or um, how this was going to impact me. But now I'm looking at it differently. The death energy, okay? Yeah. Um, the five of pentacles. Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, someone's perspective is changing, okay? Yeah, because with this Four of Cups energy and the Hangman, someone is looking at union a little different, okay? I'm looking at this collaboration a little different, all right? After careful review, all right, um, this ending with the Death card, this change, is changing someone from going from the Five of Pentacles, okay, which is lonely, Broke, not having enough, doing things on your own, um, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, nobody to call to talk to on the weekends, nobody to hang out with, right? To having a full blown family, okay? Thriving, functioning, stability, money good, new uh new job, new business, whatever the case may be, it's building your finances. You go from this change take you, this transition, this change takes you from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, okay? Takes you from this energy of dissatisfaction with the four of cups, okay? Now this person is starting to really envision a future. I'm looking forward to what the future may hold, right? May hold, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in this energy of dissatisfaction, in this energy of pushing something away, in this energy of blah, blah, right? My perspective has changed. Yes. So, someone may be coming to speak with you, talk to you, okay? Or maybe even just be speaking the truth, you know, of why they closed off, why they acted a certain way, okay? And wanting to, like, approach things maybe differently, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like whoever this is is starting to see that that the changes that have happened in their life, in their past, or in the recent past, were for a reason. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Bye.